Guys, I got a brand new shiny truck. Not that one, this one. This is the Fire Horse from Rock Hobby. In today's video, we're getting it out of the box. We're gonna have a good look over it. And then we're taking it out onto a little mini crawler course. So the Fire Horse from Rock Hobby, 118 scale. It's got some specs there if you wanna see. Let's just read the bottom ones out. Water resistant 2S. Um, Electronics, two in one receiver ESC, uh, 050, a 050 motor, high power weight ratio, all weather operation, up to 30 minutes runtime. There is no other crawler like Rock Hobby 118 Fire Horse. Obviously, apart from all of Rock Hobby's other crawlers, he's always come in a really nice presentation case. Keeps it well protected during transit and keeps it well protected when you finish playing with it. So it comes with this funky little transmitter. These are quite nice, actually comfortable in the hand. I prefer maybe a little bit of foam on the wheel, but still, and that's just me being picky. Steering jaw rate, throttle jaw rate, steering trim, throttle trim. There's a load of switches there and I haven't worked out what they're for yet. I think they might be the running sequence of the ESC. I'm not overly sure. There's a third channel there and a fourth channel there. Not sure what they do just yet. Charger and a wheel hex and then a very nice Jeep Wrangler. Look at that. That is really nice and bright. If you like stuff that's red, you'll love this thing. So the doors don't open and I think the hood or the bonnet does open, but the doors don't. However, it has got an interior in there. So nice and scale. I suppose you could take the body off to put a little figure in there. Nice set of wheels, nice soft tires. They are beadlock wheels. Uh, plenty of grip you get from these. This is the same as the, it's the same setup, I believe, as the Katana, which was very nice. Just a little bit noisy, that was. Unless they've changed them, the gears are plastic, but I've not had a problem with mine. There's your little um, 50 size motor in there. Friction dampers. Again, yeah, I prefer oil and the Panda Hobbies have oil. However, what this gives, especially depending on some of the terrain you're going on, this actually gives a nice realistic look to it. There's your snorkel for going underwater. And underneath here, this is where all your electronics are. There's your little 380 milliamp hour 2S LiPo. That is your two-in-one ESC and receiver and stuff. That's got all your light controls in there. It does say it's waterproof. I think what we'll do is this battery's probably got just enough charge in it to give it a go. It takes four AAAs. Have I got some AAA batteries? That is the question. Yes, I have. Right then, so proportional steering. So when you turn, indicators come on, front and rear. Press channel, press channel three. No, press channel four, you get like your hazards and that should switch them off. And then I guess channel three, headlights. And then you do have as well, you have brake lights. So you've got lights on normally and then brake. I wondered what was catching the, I don't know if you can see, the on off switch is wedged under there. I think that's just, yeah. Well, well done to whoever put this one together in the factory. You've managed to get the on off switch uh, wedged between the, the body and the arch. Well done. Don't worry, I'll sort it out for you. Right, I'll sort that on and off switch out so it actually drives properly. I'm going to Bed's Electric RC Club tomorrow and I've got a smorgasbord of crawlers. It's a big word, Thursday, smorgasbord. Anyway, we'll take this with us because they've got a really cool little uh, mini crawler track there. So we're going to take it with us. I'm going to give it a go and see how it gets on. Let's go. Right, let's give this little thing a go. Little crawler course just here. Some nice slow control, good modulation on these. Very good modulation, in fact. So this one seems quieter than the Katana. The Katana suffered with a bit of uh, wine from the electronics. I believe this may have either different electronics or it's just the shape of the hard body. Doesn't resonate as much as the, uh, the Katana, but nice and quiet. Nice pair. This is really good. 
Have we got a drag brake? Seems like it. So it's quite a hard drag brake, so it's not, when you let go, it doesn't roll, but still, very good. Oh, oh come on, on your wheels. Oh, nearly. Well, I made easy work of that. Let's try some of the, uh, the big boy stuff. So this is a predominantly one-tenth course. These little things do okay though, as long as you choose the right equipment. I think we might be right here. Or maybe we won't. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Lost momentum now, but that drag brake's holding it. There's always that worry with a hard body of rolling off something like this. There we go. Come on. Come on, you got this. I need to bump it over there. Whoa. Come on, power up. Yeah. I reckon we can do it. There we go. Very nice. That's quite steep. Nice weather today. No point even trying this, it's not going to get up there. This is super steep, this super, super steep. I don't think we're going to make it. It's obviously not too, it's not heavy enough to make it tip. No, yeah. we're not going to make that one. We had to break for the rain, but now everything's wet, so <laughs> we'll see how it gets on. I'm sure it will be fine. Little, uh, this is a, probably a little bit difficult. It's going to be a bit slippery now, but I'm going to give it a go. This actual, this bit here was made for these uh, small scale crawlers. Get the right line, up it goes. Let's go, uh, let's go around this way. Oh, let's not go around that way. Bit of momentum, there we go. So this thing has definitely impressed me. I'd say it's, it just feels nicer than the Katana. I'm not sure if they've changed anything on this, but it just, it just feels a little bit nicer, a little bit easier to control. Nice. Let's see how much grip it's got on this loose mud, shall we? Oh, come on. Yes, come on. Come on, little rock hobby, yes. That's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching this little, um, whatever it is, <laughs> fire horse <laughs> is very good. I am impressed. Links in the description. Cheers for watching. I will see you next time.